What is up YouTube and welcome to this very, very special video. So we're going to be talking about Flash, Legends of Tomorrow and Riverdale. So first of all, let's talk about Riverdale. I haven't really done any Riverdale videos for quite some time, just because I haven't really got any time to really do it and it wasn't that receptive when I first started it last year. But I've got to talk. I, I literally turned when I watched this episode and I said to the people I was watching it with, I said, I have to talk about this because this is a typical CW bait and switch. We learn who the Black Hood was and, well, it was apparently Svensson, the kind of the innocent victim of the, the Riverdale Reaper and he was the only survivor who went on to actually kind of accuse the wrong person of the killing of this family. Now, this feels really, really weird here. And it just feels absolutely bizarre. So, this janitor was really only just a couple of episodes ago. We learned his entire backstory so very, very early on. And pretty much when he was introduced, we almost learned about his entire story. And he's really not been that present in any other episodes apart from this. And, well, the first one here is that, well, the Black Hood actually has a huge connection to Betty. So it's really weird that he has a huge connection to Betty, but this character had a very, very, very passing connection to Betty. It was someone who... The, the connection simply is that her grandfather was involved with the lynch mob who went to go and t kill the wrong person. So... What has happened here is the fact that I can't see it being Spencer. I can't see that. I simply do think that the Black Hood has sent someone to be killed in his place. And that fits in with the story. So, Betty's grandfather was the one who kind of was involved, killed the wrong person. And here, this is pretty much coming around about way. The sheriff actually killed the wrong person which fits in incredibly well with the Sinner's storyline and things like that. So the huge connections that the Black Hood has to Betty, why would he be obsessed with Betty out of all people? Why would he know so much about her? It just seems really, really weird. And the one I thought immediately when I watched this was the eyes. And, well, the fact is that Archie actually looked into the eyes of of the Black Hood when when obviously everything went down originally and he he saw the janitor and he said that's not him it can't be him it's not I can't I've looked into his eyes it, it's just not him which the big thing was the eyes and you always the Black Hood always zooms in it's always zooming in on his eyes that's a huge huge thing and the eye color is is almost is it's similar but it's completely different the Black Hood has really really a, a lot brighter kind of green eyes whereas the janitor has a, a darker hazel now let's look at the fingernails yes yes yeah it's a weird one but their fingernails are completely and utterly different now this could simply just be they filmed this when they hadn't cast a certain actor or a certain act they didn't need to have that actor on the on the set they've done this obviously with tobin bell with the flash he was the voice of savitar until the reveal was that barry allen was actually Savitar. So that is the the big thing there. But the, it just doesn't make sense whatsoever. The fact that this character is actually the Black Hood. And it feels weird that they've wrapped this up so early. Night, neat and tidy for Christmas. As Jughead said. But that never happens. That's not how these things work. So I find that really, really weird. That they've decided to wrap this up just before the Christmas break. And they're back again with no hint towards who the villain could be for the next half of the season. And, well, it just doesn't work, in my opinion. Not only for the fact that it is a huge letdown, it just doesn't add up, in my opinion. Now, next up, we have got The Flash, and we've got Killer Frost, who has been one of the standout characters on that show this season. I've really, really liked Killer Frost this season. She's been an absolute joy to watch. Uh, we've had the actress, Danielle, and she really has played this tortured role superbly and I really really do like her in this show but there is a hint towards where she could actually be going so first of all Legends of Tomorrow with the exit of Firestorm well there are now two places on the Wave Rider 
And this has been hinted towards Mark Guggenheim mentioning that there is going to actually be someone else on the show. So we've theorised that one could be Constantine or Wally West. Uh, or kind of that's the two that we could be. And I didn't really think who else could actually fit that well on the show. But we've actually had Katie Lotz has actually revealed, had posted a picture of herself with Killer Frost. Now it's unclear as to when this will actually be, when this was taken. It could have been around the Crisis on Earth X crossover. But what I'm thinking here is the fact that it is just a simple hint towards who we could actually be getting next. We know that when the show returns, they've got a kind of a real exorcist sort of show, uh, show coming up with Constantine, which is going to be really, really awesome. And I really do like the fact that Constantine is on this show. And that's the that's obviously one of the people who's going to be on the show. But there is another position left on there. And now let's remember that Killer Frost or Caitlin Snow is actually a really, really so clever scientist, a smart scientist, and replacing a scientist with a scientist, that works very, very well, because God bless him, the rest of them, you've got Nate, who is kind of the only academic scholar, and you've got, obviously, you've got Ray as well, but the rest, they're not, they're not scholars, so you need another scientist on the show as well, and Ray never really seems to do much scientific king on the show <laughs> but i think that that would fit in really well i think killer frost would fit in majorly well with the rest of the cast so i'm excited to see where this goes next and where this show goes next because really we need to replace these characters with new characters as well so we've got two coming in and I think we'll probably see her exit the Flash first. I don't think it will be this season. It might possibly actually be next season. So while I was actually recording this video, we actually had something really, really cool come out of Shazam. And we've actually had a teaser towards the Shazam movie, which I am super, super hyped about. And we actually had the director tease and confirm that Grace Fulton is obviously in the movie. And that she will be playing the role of Mary Marvel. So Mary Marvel, if you don't know, she is obviously one of the kind of the Marvel family, which is pretty damn awesome. And well, she's actually given the powers as well. And she granted the powers of the biblical Solomon and the five Olympic gods, which is pretty similar, of course, to Shazam as well, because obviously, well, he shouts a phrase, he gets his powers. But it's really, really cool that they're adding these different people in. I'm not sure, I kind of doubt that she will actually become the sort of Mary Marvel, the super version of Mary Marvel, to be honest. I, I really don't think that they're going to be doing that, because we've actually had two other kids as well cast for this, and uh, Billy Batson actually has a group of kids around him, and in New 52, he actually was a foster child, and he joins a foster home where all these kids then later become the different, the kind of like the comic book version, the original kind of continuity versions of their characters. But that's similar to what is going around now, and it seems like they are expanding this Marvel family. Now, it's unclear if they will be following the 52 version of Billy Batson and the Marvel family, the director has also said that he's going to be less of a dick, and Billy ba Billy was actually a bit of a dick in the uh, the New Fifty Two version as well, which he's he's just a bitter young kid, which is pretty pretty understandable. I wouldn't really say he was a dick. He's you know trying to make it in this world, but it's really cool that we've got this added. Now I think that this film might be really successful. They're following on from having a group of young kids so it seems to be very popular just with stranger things and now it and a, f a few of the it cast are actually going to be in this movie as well so it's looking really cool it's shaping up very very nicely so let me know what you think of the comments do you who do you think the black hood killer really is do you think well it's been actually been revealed or let me know what you think about Killer Frost actually joining Team Flash. I'd love to know what you think. So please do drop your comments down below. Like and subscribe, of course. I've also got a Star Wars video as well on my channel, which you can go and check out. And let me know, do you like Star Wars? Do you want to see more Star Wars content on this channel? So let me know it down below. And do you miss Game of Thrones? That is it. I'll see you soon. And goodbye. <laughs>